Hello everybody, my name is Chris. And I'm Jen. And welcome to our special Going Places with K&J Mother's Day edition. Where we would like to play, pay homage to the women who really <laughs> did give us our starts in life. Hi, our moms. Hi mom. Hi mom. <laughs> Rocket wants to say hi too. Apparently. Rocket wants to say hi too. <laughs> and uh, because of these special occasions, I actually went ahead and cleaned myself out, cut my hair, and even put on my fancy shirt. Because you clean mom, up very well. I clean up very well. <laughs> and moms always like to see their children wearing their fancy Sunday best. So this, mom, yeah, this is his best. This, <laughs> so mom, this is for you. This, this, I am dressed up for you, especially. We love you guys. We love you guys. Anyway, so Jenny, I'm going to let you start out talking about your mom and. Uh, you know, just anything you want, well, just say what you want to say. Well, first of all, I just want to say I did not get any domestic skills from my mother, so that's not your fault, Mom. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I do my best. But, uh, no, she's really been, you know, the you know, person that really has influenced me the most, person I've tried to be like in my life. And, and yet, at the same time, she's nothing like her mother. <laughs> So I don't know exactly it's how that journey. works. It is a journey. <laughs> That's, it is a journey. Trust me. Ooh. Every day. <laughs> but no, I just, you know, everything that you've done for us and everybody that you've always, you know, helped through the years, you know, just really want to say, you know, appreciate you and, and are grateful that you are in our lives. Now, I do want to say something about my mother-in-law. She, she honestly doesn't think I like her, but it's not true. I actually, I actually like her a lot. And, um, but she and I are completely different people. She is, she is, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but basically she is a, uh, um, she's just kind of a, a nuts and bolts kind of person, I guess you could say. She's, she's very basic. She's, you know, her, her favorite saying is six of one, half a dozen of other. So everything is the same. I can remember one time she was like, well, we can just, you know, any hamburger's the same, whether it's McDonald's or, you know, it's like, so you're telling me a hamburger patty that has been frozen in a bag for gosh knows how long is freezer burned that you're going to take out and the, put the hockey puck on the grill tastes the same as grass fed beef that is just ground fresh uh, in the store this morning and it's all the same it's like no that's I must disagree there is a difference there but um, you know uh, but trust me Kathy I do I love you very much um, mom I, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you too and uh, you know my mom is probably the toughest person I know she is over 70 years old and still works at Walmart overnight four days a week. No, she's not a door greeter. She actually stocks shelves and does everything else. So she is by far the toughest person I know. And if I think about what the, the things that I'm most grateful for my mother for, there's two of them that really come to my mind. The first one is um, allowing me to move to Denver when I was 15. Uh, I think she felt it was better that I move out of the house, move on with my life. And honestly, it led to me meeting Jennifer and uh, not only <laughs> what came from that, but also um, my early years of trying to, you know, uh, become a photographer and what hopefully will resume here soon. And I know that had to be tough. Jenny and I know what it's like to have a teenager leave the house under unfortunate circumstances, but you know, sometimes those unfortunate circumstances turn out to be the best. So I thank you for that. Number two, I think for me is my mother actually took me to church. We were not what I would call a church going family, but in my very early teens, my mom decided to start getting me to go to church and it was one of the most impactful things of my life because Ginny and I, throughout our lives and pretty much for the last 15 years, um, on and off, more on than off, you know, worked with um, young people uh, through our church and it, uh, and, and it's basically the, the, the best relationships we've formed in our lives are the ones we've formed doing that. And Jenny, um, I actually got a flower arrangement this morning from a couple of young people that uh, we've known him since he was 15 years old and now he's 30. So because and, they're our family. and they and they're just like our family too. I mean, she, right. the, the, yeah, they're <laughs> one way or another just like our children. So we love you guys. And yes, <laughs> Stephen and Jess, we love you guys too. But um. Those were very, I know letting me go at a young age was very difficult for my mother, but she always knew, she also knew it was the best. So in spite of everything in life, my mom has had to do some very difficult things and experienced some very difficult things. But through it all, she's remained very strong, very tough, 
and um, and she's she's a large reason I am the person I am today. And so I thank you for letting me go. I thank you for the hard decisions, and I thank you for our life in general. It doesn't, you know, at this stage of life, it doesn't matter what the past <laughs> is. It's the matter of the you know. The future looks good, and quite honestly, the past hasn't been all that bad just because of what Jenny and I have been able to experience. So and we also appreciate, you know, everything that you've done, yeah. you know, for us. And, yeah, very much and, so. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, you know, just mean so much to Both us. Both of our well. moms have actually saved our bacon a couple of times <laughs> in our adult lives, which they didn't have to do, um, but they did. And I guess that's what part of being a parent is about because Jenny and I have we're also doing that with our kids now. <laughs> we're also experiencing paying this. Forward. Yes, we may not be paying you back, but we are definitely paying it forward to our own children and hopefully they will also pay it forward to their children. Uh, so before I go though, I also want to say happy Mother's Day to my wife, the lovely Jennifer here, <laughs> who um, quite honestly is is my world. She's provided me with two wonderful children. And not only that, but she's provided uh, just to be a wonderful partner. She, um, she <laughs> sorry about that, Rocket just saw something outside and he's very displeased. But anyway, you know, through our church work and everything, I would not have want, wanted to do that without Jennifer. I went to school for all... Stop it. Do you mind? <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. There's a dog out in the open space, and Rocket is not at all pleased. Hey, Rocket, Rocket. buddy, no. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. That's a good boy. Come anyway, here. so um, Jenny has been the ideal partner. She's... Uh, She's been there. We've been all through all this together. I mean, quite honestly, I wouldn't have done any of this without her. So I am very grateful for my wife. I'm very grateful for my children. I'm very grateful for the life that we lead and I'm grateful for our mothers. So for now, um, <laughs> um, we are going to have to go because our dogs are displeased. So um, my name is Chris. And I'm Jen. And we are going places with K&J. Happy Mother's Day. Bye, Happy Mom. Mother's Day. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and we are back. Uh, we just went to into our office to preview the video, and Ginny realized that I talked all day about my mom, and she hardly said anything, and, and so she wanted to amend real quick. Well, you have a lot to say. I do have a lot to say. Uh, when you put me in a group like this, if I'm speaking to a group of people, I think this goes back to my church time, I have a very easy time of it. Uh, you put me one on one with somebody, you can hardly get a word out of me. I don't, I don't know what that's about. But you know, you put Jenny. I, one of the things I've learned about Jenny since we've been uh, sheltering in place, she has a a, a call with her boss uh, for every few days or so, maybe even every day, and they talk on and on and on. That could have been a ten minute phone call, but these two stretch it out to forty five minutes. But you know, that's just the way Jenny works. I talk in front of a crowd better. She talks better one on one. So. I'm going to get out of the way, and Jenny, talk about your mom. <laughs> well, like, I, like Chris said, I, I think that I really wanted to, you know, just express, you know, really how much you truly mean. And, and you know, one of the things that, you know, really, you know, comes to my mind is, you know, you've raised all of us in church. You've instilled, you know, the values in us and, and you know, just, just to be good people and good adults and, and uh and when I said before that you really shaped who I, you know, want to be, I mean, I, that's who, you know, my role model is, is you, you know, you've really were there. And even though I'm not domestic, have the skills that you do, um, you know, I, I think that, I, you know, I always strive to, to be like you. And so I do truly appreciate everything that you've done for me and for us. And, you know, one of the things that really comes to mind is, you know, everything that you just, you know, selflessly do, you know, if anybody asks you to make something, crochet something, cross stitch something, you'll do it, you know, even if, you know, it's hard or anything like that. I mean, <laughs> you, you cross stitched, you know, beautiful, you know, uh, husky uh, photo for Faith and, and it's just, it looked like a painting and it's just, you know, like I said, things like that just amaze me and, you know, jokingly, you know, it's, you know, you and Chris will always joke around and jokingly Chris asked you to make the Eagle Nebula, cross stitch the Eagle Nebula and, and you did. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where you found it. How, I think you just put it in the computer and, you know, found a pattern for it, but here's the Eagle Nebula. <laughs> you know? And, you know, I think that Chris 
floored both of us that you did that. And <laughs> So I'm gonna jump back in here real quick. The reason I did that is I wanted to try to give her something impossible that there's no way she could have done. The 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 the, the un you know the unthinkable thing, and yet she did it. So good on you. <laughs> you know, and, and you'll start you know in June or July and start cross stitching ornaments and mail it out to everybody. I mean everybody you know, and and I always look forward you know to to getting those every Christmas and. And, you know, just the thing, fun things that you, you do, you know, made everybody, all, all of our family nose covers. And now, you know, that's probably going to come in handy when I will, now that we <laughs> need to cover our nose and mouths. And, um, but it's just, you know, funny things like that, that, you know, really stick in my mind to, um, you know, what you do. And, and like I said, just how, you, how we can all have fun and, and how selfless you are. So... You know, I just truly, from the bottom of my heart, just want to say love you, Mom, and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Bye.